And the starfish story goes like this. There was a young boy walking down the beach. A lot of starfish had been brought in by, by the sea. They were dying in the, the shore. The little boy would pick them up one at a time, throw them back in the sea, and would come back to life. And finally, an older man came up and said, what are you doing, son? He says, I'm throwing this starfish back in the sea so they can come back to life. And there was a whole bunch of them. The man said, are you nuts or what? There's so many of them. What difference does it make? The little boy picked up another one, threw it in the sea, and he said, it makes a difference to that one. And that's when God touched my heart. Send me back here. And the rest is history. We're throwing starfish back in the sea. They come to faith ministry looking for answers, you know, looking for help, looking for support. And we never tell them, yes, uh, we're going to build your house or we're going to give you whatever you need. And so what we tell them is that we are not the answer. The ministry is not the answer. We have no means, but we know somebody that can help. They tell people that God loves them, but that they want to show them that God loves them and he will take care of the need. So we tell them, let's pray about it. God will solve the problem. So that when we come down and we provide the money and we provide some of the help to build the house, that we actually are the answer to somebody's prayer. God is working through the teams to answer someone's prayer. It's like street cred. God is real, God loves us, and you know, here is a tangible example of a difference that we can make to answer someone's prayer. They are rewarded for their faith in God, but we are rewarded by uh, being part of a gift that God is giving to them. And it becomes a beautiful thing, a beautiful bond between the faith that we put in action and the teams coming to do something about it. One of my favorite things is seeing a group arrive at the beginning of the week. That first work day when they meet each other, it's always a little awkward if they don't know anyone here. By the end of the week, there are people crying and holding on so tightly because they don't want to say goodbye. This is the most fun you can have. I came on my first mission trip when I was around nine years old. I'm 15. Uh, 75. It is hard work, but there is something here for everyone. There's something here for every gift or talent that you have. I didn't think I could do this. I had no idea how to do any of that before I got here. And I was scared. And I was afraid. Uh, they taught me. That's part of the fun. Everybody around me helped me out and taught me how to do things. They're very good at what they do, and they, they let us do as much as we can do, and they step in quickly when they can see we're flagging. And, and all of a sudden, I was doing it, and it's pretty amazing to feel like you're helping to build a house for someone. Say, I just enjoy doing the work. It's fun, and uh, it's not. There's a lot of teamwork involved. It's amazing what people can do when they put their mind to it. Uh -huh. uh, everybody's spirit stays up. You know, everybody's laughing, cutting jokes. You know, so even though everybody's working really hard, you know, everybody's enjoying themselves. We all like mess around with each other. It's so great. I love that so much. They make they make working around the house so much fun. It's kind of scary that people can live in these conditions, but yet be so happy. I mean, there's some aspects of it that make me really sad just because of seeing how these people, like, don't have what they need. In the midst of a lot of poverty, they're so cheerful and kind and loving. They're always glad to be here. They're always glad we're here, and they welcome us. And so in those ways, it makes me incredibly happy because I get to see them, I get to talk, I get to hang out with them. It's so impactful to be here putting brick by brick a house together, meeting the family, hearing about their situation, meeting their like pets. I get a lot back from them. Pure love, true love, and appreciation. Coming here and working with Faith Ministry and working with the families here opens your heart to things I think maybe you wouldn't have thought were possible. Um, relationships and friendships uh, that are centered on Christ and go beyond anything material are really truly just about loving each other in a very raw and genuine way. And I think that's really special. The sharing that we do with this other church community is multiplies. The people, the neighbors watch us. 
And for us to come and make an impact in a neighborhood, and they see these Americans come building, and they say, wow. They came, they came today I heard in church from far away to help us build a house. And that feeling is overwhelming. Come and do it and see for yourself. We can tell you everything about what it's like to come here and we can show you pictures and talk about it, but to come here and experience it yourself, then you'll know. The, my very first day, um, watching all these people work together who had never met each other. It was pretty overwhelming, and it was a beautiful sight. God calls you to go out. God doesn't say, go out only if you're feeling okay and secure about it. Go and do. He sends us to do these sorts of things, no matter the situation. Give up control of the situation. Put yourself in God's hands and God will lead you to a wonderful experience down here. He's calling you to go, come.